Okay, so I want to show you how to peel a prawn a professional way. Are you ready? You get your prawn and you can choose whichever prawn you want. Today we've got some king prawns, they're very beautiful and big and I love big prawns. And what we're going to do is we're, we want to keep the head and the tail on because it's way more impressive when we've got a whole prawn with the head on and the tail still. Um, and for flavour as well, okay? So we'll keep flavour and presentation. Um, most of us know when we peel a prawn, we touch the head and it kind of just falls off and it's not our fault and I understand that. So what we're going to do when we peel this prawn is we're not going to touch it at the head at all. So on the head we have some longer legs of the prawn. So the prawn has very long legs on the head. Don't touch those legs. So when I'm talking about the legs, it's the shorter legs on the body that I'm talking about, okay? You want to use your most dominant hand uh, to do the peeling and then your less dominant hand to hold the prawn. So I'm right-handed. I'm going to use my right hand to peel the shell and then the left hand is more as a holder, okay? So we're going to place the prawn with the legs facing up okay to the sky we're going to hold at the body not at the head and we're going to use our uh, pointer finger to scrape down on that softer shell where all the shorter legs are okay so we're going to break through that and it should feel like slippery and slidey once we've broken through that softer shell make sure you don't break through the little tail end section there just the legs once you've done that and you can feel the prawn flesh underneath that's when you're going to pick it up with your right hand if you're right-handed and you're going to hold on the little tail section there okay I want the opening of where you've just broken the shell to be facing you okay and then you're going to start at the shell on that side there too and what's going to happen is you're going to hold on and you're going to twist in opposite directions and pull down okay and doing this and you want to do it a little bit faster so you're a little bit more confident otherwise if you go really slow each section of the shell will break individually so you want to have some confidence you want to twist and pull down and then that way you can remove all of the outer shell like so okay um, i'm going to show you another one because that was pretty quick and I understand that you have to do it a little bit quick as well but I guess the more you see the better it will get for you okay so we're going to hold at the body the shorter legs place it on the chopping board I see a lot of people like kind of pick it up and do this but you'll get more support when it's on the chopping board and you're going to run your finger down the shorter legs there break through the shell beautiful um, hold on to that little tail end section here and you're going to twist in opposite directions whilst pulling down and you'll be able to remove the outer shell like so okay you know what, let's just do it one more time so you get it really nice and clear. We're gonna hold at the body, place on the board, run your finger down, the shorter legs break through that little section there, the softer shell, hold onto the tail, twist, see that twist and turn there, and then you're gonna pull down. See how I did a little bit slower and then it broke into sections, but never mind, you can grab onto the back and then just pull down, okay? Once you've got that done, then we just need to remove the vein and then we're good to go. So to remove the vein, you want to bend the prawn around so the, the outside of the skin gets nice and tight. When you're using your knife, you do not want to apply pressure, okay? You just want to apply like a slicing motion around, but no pressure. If you apply pressure to the prawn, you'll end up cutting the vein, which makes it a lot harder to get out, okay? So you just slide it around in the center with no pressure. Then you lay the prawn out because when we bend it around like that, the vein gets really tight. And when we open it up, the vein gets loose. So we're able to sort of persuade it to come out. We open it up and the vein is sort of that one line, different color to all the rest. Kind of grab onto that and pull it back and forth, just persuading it to come out. And then we can remove the vein, okay? And then our prawn is ready. That beautiful orange stuff inside here, keep it because it's beautiful flavor.